so this is actually super cool. I've been a fan since I saw you in the guest years and years ago. Um, and, you know, since then, you know, you've gotten the honorary designation of becoming a scream queen from the internet. I, so, I think I uh, apparently. How does that make you feel? How do you like that title? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, it's pretty cool. I grew up um, absolutely obsessed with the horror genre. And um, so, you know, it's pretty funny to me and I like it. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And, uh, you know, going off of that, I'm always curious, you start in so many horror movies or thrillers where your character is just terrified. And I was wondering like, what draws you to that as an actor? What draws you to the genre? What draws you to these roles? Yeah, I mean, I, to be totally honest, it wasn't a conscious decision of like, I want to, uh, yeah, it, it, it kind of just happened by chance. Um, you know, I, I, I filmed, uh, you know, audition for the guest had really, I mean, I was a fan of Adams, but I had no idea, you know, mm -hmm. what the movie would become and very similar with it follows. I mean, I, I read the script and I was just like, okay, this, this is weird. I don't, I don't know about this. Um, but I ended up meeting David and, and just fell in love with, him and, and his previous work and those movies I, I think especially it follows was um kind of came out at this time of a shift in in the genre uh cinema you know I think it was when the witch came out the Baba Duke all incredible horror films and I think that there was a real change um it wasn't just you know hot girls you know, being stabbed and dying while having sex, uh, it, it became a lot more than that and really interesting characters. Um, and I feel like I was in some ways at the forefront with it follows coming out in these really elevated horror films. And, um, I, I feel like it's even now, I mean, there's so many incredible genre films right now and incredible young filmmakers tackling some, some really cool material. And so it's just, yeah, it sort of just happened, you know? Um, yeah. Awesome. Well, I love it, obviously. Um, you, know, and, <laughs> yeah. you know, incredible filmmakers. You worked with Chloe Okuno and this character of Julia is so interesting. And I read that you guys filmed on location in Bucharest. And how integral was that to sort of getting into the headspace of Julia as a character for you? Yeah, I mean, initially the script was actually set in New York. And uh, I think it would have been a very different film. And I can't really, I, I think it just... Um, aided so much that it was uh this girl in a foreign country and um y yeah feeling like an outsider really feeling like an outsider um so yeah i mean i think it helped a ton i i don't i didn't know any romanian i still don't i mean i try i always try to learn the language but romanian is very hard <laughs> and um so you immediately will feel, you know, if you go into a coffee shop or, or a store, you, you feel uncomfortable because it, you can't speak the language and communicating becomes very difficult. Um, so I think it, I, I mean, I really think it, it made this film what it is because of it taking place in this foreign place. Definitely. I think the um, the atmosphere of it and being in Romania would really helped sell it. And, um, you know, I, and I couldn't help but think you mentioned It Follows earlier. And I feel like, you know, the stalker in this movie is almost like that in a way, but obviously much more present in a scarier way. <laughs> you know, he's looming over your apartment building. Yeah. So was that also helpful? And I was also wondering, like, did you meet with him, the actor behind uh, this character, or did you guys kind of try to stay separate to kind of keep that feeling of um, fear? We actually, no, I, I, I had met him before, um, before filming and he, uh, is truly the nicest, <laughs> the nicest, uh, guy, very easygoing. Um, and yeah, we just got along so well. And then, you know, I would show up to set, I think one of the first scenes that we were filming was actually all the stuff on the train, uh, that gets pretty um, it's pretty heightened and very terrifying scene. And, um, he just came in with all these incredible ideas and characteristics and he would just completely transform how he walked, how he talked. And, um, 
he's an incredible villain. He really is. He's very good at it. <laughs> Definitely. And, you know, I mean, by the end of the watch of watcher, Julia has been put through the ringer, you know, we get this major cathartic moment. Um, and without getting into spoilers or anything, I, what was your initial reaction to like reading this ending? Oh, I was absolutely obsessed with this ending because I, I felt like I hadn't seen that before. I expected that there was going to be something else. And I think the way it ends is just so perfect and you don't need any more. You don't need any more explanation or anything. It's just like, and that's all you're getting. And so I, I, yeah, I just loved it. I thought it was so brilliant. <laughs> yeah. That, that final look from Julia to uh, the boyfriend. That yes. was <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I've got one more question before I go, you know, and this is actually to do with the guests recently, Adam Wingard said that he was potentially interested in doing a sequel. He did the whole sequel soundtrack for the guests too. Would you be open to returning? Have you talked about it with him at all? Hell yeah. <laughs> I would love to It'd be so fun. I feel like the way that, that the guest ended, um, was so open-ended. And so I feel like there's a lot of possibilities of where it could go. And, and I love Adam and the whole team behind it. So I think it'd be very fun. So we'll see. Definitely. Well, putting good, good energy out there. Yes, get, there you go. Get it, made. <laughs> it was so nice meeting you. Thank you for your time today. Congratulations very nice on the movie. You. Have a good one. Thank you so much. 